in this video we head to France for round 10 of the F1 season for my F1 2020 my team career mode coming off the back of a fairly successful Canada let's get into it so coming into qualifying for the French Grand Prix if you missed the video last time out in Canada, make sure to check that out before you see this one. The rest of this one, I will link it down below in the description. But coming towards the end of our fine, our first run in Q1, you can see we're going wide there and actually drag racing Valtteri Bottas to the line. It does go fastest, and by the end of Q1, that you can see the clouds have really started to come over. It looks like it's going to rain, and if we manage to get on. To get into Q2 it is scheduled to rain so we'll see what we can do we've been very quick in the rain in the past but can we get there we crossed the line we were six temps up but it's only going to get us into P21 not off the back row so now we're going to get into the technical side of things so you see there the rest of the drivers out we've only out qualified Nicholas the TV and ahead of us are George Russell Guanyu Joe, Magnussen and Daniel Ricciardo having a poor qualifying in the Renault but going back into the um, paddock now and I was looking at the wear on all of the components and I decided that this would be the race that we took a we took a penalty because you see there we've literally done what nine rounds and the end and we're nearly on to the third column of parts which isn't great there's still a long way to go so we're going to do we're going to have a new column take a, a penalty and let's see if we can do anything for us let's get into it six but it was another 73 years before they could take their second so they'll be pushing hard to delight the local fans here today Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, 6 left and 9 right for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Knoll. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes which are low in grip and highly abrasive. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Now, I want to talk to you about Valtteri Bottas. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Albon, Perez, Stroll, Giovinazzi and Esteban Ocon, Norris, Kvyat, Pierre Gasly and Grosjean, Ricardo, Magnussen and Guan Yu Zhou and Carlos Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Russell, Raikkonen, Latifi and Brown. And now it's time to head down to the track. So then a big kind of big daddy 60 place grid penalty. We're going to be doing a one stop. There's no rain. It is meant to get lighter but we'll see shall we as the five red lights come on here. Long hold of the lights, but they are out now. We are underway in France, and it's a great start. But one of the Ferraris out here have jumped the other Mercedes off. It is Factory Bottas, I think it is, going down into turn one. We're right to the inside of the track as we dive down the inside. We've gained quite a few positions there. We're now side by side with our teammate. His force is a little bit wide now. We're right on the back of Royman Grosjean. Can we maybe go at the inside? No, we're going to have to sit behind him now. But he goes a little bit wide, and we're going to get down it inside and now go round the outside of him and the Alpha Tauri there of Daniel Kvyat to be head round that long right hander and onto the back straight Kvyat the Russian not going to give up though he's going to pull out to the inside of the track go side by side of us now and retake that position but I'm not having that we're going to swap him the dummy and go back down his inside and keep that position but and the exit of the chicane 
there is another straight and he is straight back on the back of us but he has been overtaken by Roman Grosjean so it's Grosjean instead and we can get on with the rest of the lap and the race this is a replay of the start then as we get going fairly quickly nearly hit one of the Williams there and now we're right on the back and sending it down the inside, straight down the inside. Make contact there with someone. I think that was actually our teammate, Gwenny Joy, just tire to tire. It wasn't too bad. Now we're on the back of Roman Grosjean. And now skipping on, this was the move on. It's actually Pierre Gasly, not Kvyat. So very nearly, nearly hitting the back of him there. It actually caught me out a little bit how early he broke. That's why I kind of went to the inside. But. We've got the job done and we can get on with the race. But you can see already as Roman Grosjean overtakes us, we're on lap 5 and the clouds are already starting to disperse and we've actually been overtaken by Big Gasly again. We're gonna he goes a bit deep though, we're gonna go back round his outside, we're gonna keep that position, but he's gonna keep his foot in is the Frenchman at his home Grand Prix. And we've got you can see we've got the ER rest mode going there, but we're going into the flat right hander. Lamose, I think his name is. We've gone wide now. Round that long double apex right hander, we've gone wide again, and that's Carlos Sainz in his McLaren overtaking us now. It's been a scruffy lap, and we have dropped like a stone on that lap from going wheel to wheel with Pierre Gasly, and now we've lost two positions. and we don't really have the pace to those up front so if we can stick with them that is great but unfortunately we couldn't we're in p16 you can see on lap 12 now we are and the sun has come out as we make our one and only stop and large stroll is out of the race as well you would have seen there on the top of your screen as we trundle down the pit lane Make our one and only stop onto the hard compound tyre. It's a swift stop there from our mechanics. We'll look at the Lance Stroll incident in just a second. As we now are going to come out in P20 in this race. Obviously Lance Stroll just retired so there's only 21 left in the race. You can see Lance Stroll there parked up on the left hand side. So what happened to the Canadian? Well this is what happened. He goes... His engine just lets go on him going down the down the start finish straight and he pulls off and it's not a good look for Mercedes, not a good look for Lance Stroll. That Mercedes engine looking quite reliable this season, but that one has gone and he'll go to Austria with probably a new engine or whatever it was wrong with it, but when it's smoking like that it's normally never a good sign, but it's a game and we can we can live with that so now though we're going to skip all the way on to lap 17 which sounds a long way but we, we only pitted on lap 13 so it's not that far and Daniel Ricciardo is behind us now Ricciardo of course he had that horrendous qualifying but this is actually he made the double stop so this is him overtaking us making his second stop at the Grand Prix and Grosjean not too far up the road from him so maybe he can get Grosjean before the end but unfortunately that means nothing for us as we skip on to the final lap of the race being a very 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 boring race pretty much copy and paste of what the French Grand Prix is but Valtteri Bottas is going to win the French Grand Prix back to back from Canada it's going to be Ferrari Red Bull Ferrari and then Mercedes again and we're going to round the final corner we actually nearly got caught by Carlos Sainz and we beat Pierre Gasly as well but we're going to cross the line for a lonely P15 that's the end of the race we'll see you in Park Fermi Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. 
That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. got to give it to Valtteri Bottas, he has really been on it this weekend um, and this season to be honest, I mean his shadows of what he's like in real life is just so much better than he is in real life on this game says so something a little bit about Valtteri Bottas when you're better on a game than you are in real life but we'll leave it at that we're not doing too bad in the standings, currently sitting 11th but the construct is where it gets interesting as we are only four points behind Alpha Tauri and we're way ahead of Haas, we're way ahead of Williams, Williams haven't even scored and we're actually rivals with Daniel Kvyat and after this round we're level with the Russian on on whatever you want to call them, the points things, we've actually gone up our driver acclaim level up to level seven so me and Guan Yujo both on seven and combined that means nine we're 28% through that one. Cash, we get both of our sponsors' bonuses, which is good. And we take a little bit of damage from that. Guan Yu Joy having a clean weekend, which makes a balance a nice 5 million going into the Austrian Grand Prix. We're going to be doing one of the activities. That's just pretty standard. We're, we are going to do more on the reliability because it's pretty horrendous how bad our reliability is it's we have the r r worst reliability we're also going to do one on the air route as well we've got two upgrades coming hopefully for austria if none of them fail but yeah that's pretty much it guys if you've liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in austria